In the advanced orthogonal technique, there is one procedure we do that is meant to measure Y displacement of the head. And what that means is that if I want to come in from an anterior or a posterior Y that we calculated off of our x-rays, that's great. But depending on the position of the patient's skull, if their chin's way up or their chin's way down, they may not be starting on the zero Y from the beginning. So in advanced orthogonal, we have used and created this sort of template that allows us to put it right over the patient's skull and see whether the patient's skull is anterior 5, anterior 10, or they actually position more posteriorly. And we're trained to adapt our Y vector around that so we maintain that that we calculate off the x-rays. This has really worked great for a very long time, but there are some certain issues that I have found with viewing through that. Different perspectives can change what your resultant is. Sometimes it's difficult to hold it. And so I came up with this laser, and what we did was we made a laser that attaches right along the headrest, or right along this component of the table, and really hugs it. And you're going to see that we have a battery pack up in the front, we have one laser coming out the side angled horizontally with the stylus, and we have another laser in the back perpendicular to the stylus so that when we do activate this laser, well, we get this really beautiful crosshair projection right down onto the patient. So to show you how we do this, what I want to do is use a side bubble right here on the side of the laser to really make sure that it's pointing straight down. What I'll do is I'll angle it and get it positioned so that that laser is right over the center of the headrest. And then when I rotate the laser to hit that zero mark, we know that now the laser is perfectly aligned to the table. What we'll do is we will pull that out of there, get the patient down on the headrest, do the majority of my positioning, and when I swing that laser back over the patient and I see it marking on the zero, I know that it's pointed right towards the center of the table and that's right where that atlas transverse process needs to be. If the atlas TPs forward or backward from that point, well then I'm gonna have positioning error. So I, it's one tool to help me double check that I have that transverse process right in the center of the table. After that, it gets really easy because all you have to do is rotate the whole arm until this upper laser is underneath the bridge of your nose and that simple rotation until it's at the nose completely replaces every protocol we ever did with this Y template and when it does that, it gives you a more accurate resultant Y and it takes out a lot of different factors or deviations that could give you an inaccurate measurement in the first place. So what I have found is that when I use this tool, I'm able to get the patient centered on the table better. I'm able to quickly and easily measure how far off y-axis they are, and I'm able to account for that a lot easier. And overall, it's led to a better adjustment for me and a more efficient adjustment for me. So I really think it's a wonderful tool that can be used in many different techniques, but it is built to adjust to any advanced orthogonal or atlas orthogonal table. So go ahead and look at the pictures. If you have any questions, give us an email, and I'd be more than happy to help get you set up with your advanced orthogonal advanced laser. Thank you.